Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, let's do these two problems. I said, determine the distance D for placement of the load P for equilibrium of the smooth bar in the position theta as shown, neglect the weight of the bar. And then if D and theta are given, determine the normal reaction at the supports and the required distance A for placement of the roller if P is equal to 600 newtons. And again, neglect the weight of the bar. So doing these two problems together will really save me time. So let's get to it. First, let's draw the feed by diagram. You know that you have a reaction here. I'm going to call this reaction R. And you know that this angle right here is also theta. You know that you have a horizontal reaction. And I'm going to call this reaction F of X. And you don't have no vertical reaction because this side is smooth. You also know that this angle right here is theta. Distance say we have, and yep, this seems to be good enough. Now, first I'm going to do the sum of the forces in the y is equal to zero. And if you do the sum of the forces in the y, you see right away that r cosine of theta minus p is equal to zero, which is the vertical component of this force. R of this uh, reaction R and P is going straight down so it's fine. You solve for P and you get that P is equal to R cosine of theta. And I call this equation 1. Now some of the moments oops what was that? Some of the moments at A is equal to 0. I'm going to do the sum of the moments at A and a being this point right here and is equal to the moment generated by R which is R times the distance from here to here how do you find that distance? well that triangle which is this triangle right here this is theta and you know that this is distance A so I'm gonna call this Y um, you know that y cosine of theta is equal to a, so a is equal to, I'm sorry, so y is equal to a over cosine of theta, right? So that distance is equal to a over cosine of theta, a over cosine of theta. So the moment generated by r is r times that distance, which is a cosine of theta, minus p cosine of theta, which is the projection of P onto the perpendicular with respect to the rod, times the whole length of the rod, which is D. So 0 is equal to R A over cosine of theta minus, and I'm going to replace P by equation 1, which is R cosine square of theta times D because I replace r cosine of theta by this p and then multiply by cosine of theta, that's why it's r cosine of theta times d. Now, if I further simplify this, I get r a minus r times d cosine of q theta over cosine of theta. Basically what I did is I got the common denominator which is cosine of theta and, and did the subtraction of fractions and that's how I got to this number. But notice you have a zero on the other side. If you have a zero on the other side that means that this whole equation if you multiply it by cosine of theta you will get rid of that because cosine of theta times the right side cancels out the cosine of theta and cosine of theta times zero is still zero. And another thing is you could divide by r and you could cancel out the r's because r times 0 is still 0. I mean, sorry, 0 divided by r is still 0 and the, question, the side on the right divided by r cancels out the r's. So you get that 0 is equal to a minus d cosine cube of theta. And if you solve for d, 
which is what we're trying to find in the first part, is determine the distance d is equal to a over cosine cube of theta. And I'm going to call this equation 2 and also it's the solution for the first part. Now, for the second part, they're giving us d and they're giving us the angle and they're giving us p. They want us to find r. They want us to find the reactions, which are r and f of x. And they're very easy to find, as you can see, with the equations that we already figured out. So let me make a new page to keep things neat. So from equation two, we're just going to replace d. Let me actually rewrite equation two. d is equal to a over cosine cube of theta. That's the equation that we just found. And we know that d is equal to 1, so it's 1 is equal to a cosine cube of 30 degrees. Remember that your calculator has to be in degrees, not in radians. If you did the problem that I did before, it will be in radians. That's why I'm just doing a quick reminder. Now, if you solve for a, a is equal to 0.6495 meters. which is also required in the problem, the required distance a. So this is one answer. Now, from the equation one, which was, equation one was p is equal to r cos sine of theta at the beginning of the problem, we can plug in p and we can plug in theta and we can solve for r. So we have that 600 is equal to r cos sine of 30. If you solve for r, r is equal to 692. 82 newtons which is this reaction right here and this is f of x now remember that this is theta now um, for the last part which is let's find the horizontal reaction f of x we know that the sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero and is equal to f of x minus r sine of theta you know r Theta is 30 degrees given by the problem, and it's all a matter of solving for f. So f of x is equal to r sine of theta. f of x is equal to 346.41 newtons. Final answer for f of x, final answer for r, and final answer for the required distance a, and that is for the second part. And for the first part, final answer for the distance D required for equilibrium.